Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be breaking down this weekend's Fight Night card. The main event is Mackenzie Dern vs. Angela Hill. The rest of the card is pretty lackluster, with a couple of good fights sprinkled throughout the card. But, every weekend won't be stacked card after stacked card. So I guess it's nice that we're even getting a card to begin with. Without further ado though, let's get into the main event. So, Mackenzie Dern has shown to be one of the most dangerous submission specialists in women's MMA. However, she is coming off a loss in her last fight against Yan Chio Zan, while Hill is on a two-fight win streak with two decision wins. I'll be honest, when I saw that this was a headliner for a fight night, I was pretty shocked. I know it was last minute because they had the Aldana and Pennington fight fall through due to Aldana stepping into a title fight against Amanda Nunes, but it still doesn't feel like this should be a main event. Hill has been featuring on the prelims for her last few fights, and while Dern has seen some main event time, She's not a star by any means, but whatever. It is a last minute fight, and this could still be good, so I won't complain too much. Anyways, looking closer at this matchup, I think these two are actually pretty far from each other in skills. Dern definitely has a better ground game, and I'd probably give Hill the slight edge in the stand-up, but I don't think Hill's stand-up is enough to throw off Dern. Dern doesn't have a bad stand-up herself. However, I still think Mackenzie will try her best to get this one on the ground, because once it's there, it's pretty much done. I think there's very few women that can deal with Dern's jiu-jitsu, and Hill is not one of them. So I am going to be picking Mackenzie Dern to win this fight. Hill hasn't faced any big competition, and hasn't been anywhere near the level that Mackenzie has shown in her recent fights. Hill's lost to girls like Lamos and Torres, so it shows she struggles against the higher ranked opponents. And I don't think anything is going to change with Dern. I see Dern matching Hill's boxing on the feet, and from there finding a takedown, and looking for a sneaky submission. I'd be surprised if Hill was able to keep McKenzie from finding a submission once they're on the mat. My pick is going to be Dern to win by submission in round 2. I think this one is done early. Now, let's take a look at a couple of the other fights on this card that you should take a look at. So, in the co-main event, it's a middleweight bout between Edmund Shabazian and Anthony Hernandez. This one should be a fun one. Hernandez has been heating up as of late, and I think this will be another step in the right direction for him. One of the fights I'm most interested to see is Joaquin Buckley vs. Andre Fialo. Buckley is making his debut at welterweight, as he looks to have better time in this division compared to middleweight. Fialo is no joke either. This will be a fun striking match. Lastly, Chase Hooper is making his debut at lightweight, so let's see if he can bounce back with a win as well. So there you guys have it. Those are my predictions for this card. As I mentioned before, this card's pretty dry. There's some interesting fights, but nothing that gets you really excited, which happens in the UFC time to time. Luckily, we do have an amazing boxing match going down this weekend, in Devin Haney taking on Vasily Lomachenko. So, that kind of makes up for it. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching another one of my videos, and if you enjoyed it, consider subscribing. And also, follow me on Instagram at TripsTalksMMA for more content surrounding fight announcements and other news. I am going to be posting a video this weekend, talking about all the new fights, because there's been a lot that's been announced. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one, and take care.